Hello everybody, today I'm making a tutorial on how to wear the hijab respectfully without having to spend so many diamonds. Hope you enjoy the video and please, if I get some things wrong let me know in the comments. This is the December Dream Set. Add you may know, many people that wear the hijab in game recommend using this set to do so. This is because there is a dress code when wearing a hijab. So, when wearing a hijab you can't show any hair. But also, you have TI dress modestly and can't show any body parts besides the face and hands. So, I'm using this to outfits as an example. The first one follows the hijab's dress code, covering the legs and feet, neck and arms, not showing any things besides the face and hands. While the second one shows the legs, parts of the feet, arms and shows neck and a bit of cleavage. So the second outfit would be inappropriate to wear with the hijab while the first one would be appropriate. Having this in mind is no wonder why the December's dream set is recommended to wear when using the hijab. As you can see, the set has many toggles that can help to have a longer skirt, wear only the jacket sleeves and more jacket variations wear gloves, and even transform the heels into pants. Being not only one of the most modest sets, but also, a very customizable and gorgeous set, being the favorite of many people. And I'm not against this set being used to wear the hijab, in fact I recommend wearing it a lot. But, there is a problem with the set, a problem that might not be present in some older players, but in a lot if not all for newer players, especially if they are just starting to play Royale High. And that would be that the December's Dream Set is a seasonal set, so newer players would have to wait a lot of time until it is back on sale. Plus, the set is one of the most expensive ones in game, so newer players would have to wait a lot of time to be able to use this set to be able to wear the hijab. Plus, having to farm for many diamonds. Just imagine a newer player, excited because there are hijabs in game and wanting to wear them due to their culture and Ren realizing that to do that, they'll have to spend a lot of diamonds. So I came up with this idea to help them to create cute outfits without having to spend so many diamonds or to just not spend any at all. So we are going to start here in Divinia Park. The most obvious solution to some would be to just go to dress up and look for a modest outfit. But here comes an another problem, and is that there are not many modest outfits, making finding one a bit difficult. Here you can see me searching for one until I found this cute outfit. Here I'm going to look for another outfit again, but not because I don't like the one Tay I'm wearing. It is to show a bit more how difficult it could be to find a modest outfit. Here I finally found one. Now we chose a face and put on the hijab. And voila! But as I said before finding a modest outfit is difficult and when you think you found one, sometimes, it only covers the arms and neck but show the legs. But I have a solution for that issue. Just go to the princess section and chose pants. By doing that, you could wear any shirt from the princess section without having to worry about the legs. This is an outfit hack that I love to use, and most of the pants here can also be found in some outfits from the princesses section. So you could go first and look for an outfit in the princess section then look for another one with pants that you like and later look for the pants in the pants section but be careful with the length of the pants since some of them could show a bit of abdomen skin with some shirts but there are others that cover that but be careful 
Since not all the pants can cover the abdomen skin, here is an example. And sometimes, this other thing tends to happen when, you chose a shirt, and tried to put pants on, but for some reason the shirt isn't there anymore just the sleeves. Now I'll show how I would make an outfit with this technique. Here is the fit. But sometimes the opposite happens, when in an outfit the pants are modeled but chose to match up her skin. But there is also an easy solution, and it is to look at the shirt section after trying on the pants that you like. Also, liking the pants section, some of these shirts can be also found on the princess section. But I must admit that I'm in love with this pink bear hoodie mom. Now outfit creation time. Or to make things a bit more easy, you could directly go to the shirt section and pants section, instead of using anything from the outfit section. And as you can see here, I'm going to make an outfit like that.
All these outfits were free, but what if you want accessories? The wheel on earth is the answer. You could get one of many beautiful accessories or you could get diamonds to buy some at the shop. But here we are going to focus on the wheel's accessories. Here are the wheel accessories in the Royale High Wiki. So, you could use the accessories to improve your outfits. So here is the outfit. Now it is going to be time to talk about spending diamonds but not many of them. These are the three cheapest skirts. And as you can see, they are not very long, so how could new players use them if they want to wear the hijab? Well, there is a simple solution, but before that, I'd like to show you some cheap and cute accessories that could go with any outfit. Those are the first three. Now we are in the second campus, and I'm going to show you about the skirts. And here during the Dewdrops event you can get free stuff for your outfits too. Now the pleated skirt might be short but has a toggle to make it longer. So that could work with some outfits as a long skirt, wearing some kind of pants underneath, leggings or long shoes. Now the mini skirt has a longer tiggle, but I yield recommend more the pleated skirt. Since, with the toggle, the pleated skirt also covers a bit of abdomen. Meanwhile, the mini skirt shows a bit more in that area, as you can see in DZ comparison, making it a bit more difficult to make outfits with the mini. Mermaid time. The mermaid skirt is a poofy skirt that covers more than the pleated and mini, did without toggles. But I don't recommend wearing the skirt's toggle if you want to wear the hijab since it makes the skirt shorter. Now I'll make a modest outfit with each skirt to show some ideas on how you could wear them, starting with the pleated skirt. Using some dewdrop items and the egg hunt items. And here is the outfit with the pleated skirt. Now with the mini, this was the most difficult for me to make. And this is the final outfit. It looks cute, but I think I could have made it better.
And now with the mermaid skirt, this was the easiest and also my favorite lol. I love how cute the outfit ended up looking. Now I'll make a longer skirt recommendation, but this ones are a bit expensive. The permanent skirts that I would recommend are the Sparkly Tutu and the Cottage Princess. The Sparkly Tutu that costs only 10,000 diamonds, and has a toggle to make the skirt longer and another to make it even longer. And the Cottage Princess besides being long is very pretty and the toggle to remove the apron leaves a cute second layer. Now the ballroom entrance is a bit more expensive than the last two, but gives a lot of royalty vibes, plus matching with almost everything, being one of my favorite skirts in game. And last but not least the royale stroll in the garden. I prefer using this with fantasy outfits, plus is the first long skirt that I owned when I joined royale high. Is a bit expensive but very cute, and if you are a new player and become able to afford it, I would recommend the Miss Lady Rose skirt. Just look at the detail, is gorgeous, sadly is very expensive so you'll need to save a lot. Now time for some more outfit examples. About accessories besides sleeves and corsets, I would recommend them all lol, seasonal and permanent ones. They are very cute and the permanent ones aren't so expensive and are extremely cute. But personally I would recommend both cuffs, since they can help covering wrists in a lot of outfits and are not that expensive. I recommend the Darling Valentina due to the longer skirt toggle and as you know, I adore the December's dream set in general lol. But also, with the seasonals I recommend the gothic Lolita skirt, being similar to certain degree to the mermaid skirt. Of course, we can't forget the winter guardian in the second toggle. And yes, I know that the cherry blossom set isn't a kimono, but the skirt can be used in some other kind of outfits. Plus is not so expensive. We have here the princess peppermint skirt, a long skirt with four cute toggles, also another favorite of mine lol. The shoes that I recommend are the jelly platforms, and the shoes that are sold in March. But also the ones sold in November but I'm not sure I bore the lace boots, since they show a bit of feet. The ice princess boots I only recommend paired with a skirt that can cover the thigh, and the cookie loofers, can be used in the original form but also there is a toggle to make them bigger and use the loafers and color them as part of the pants to make them not look tied. The Moan Sherry shoes are very cute to use under skirts in the first toggle, but in the second I wouldn't recommend unless you wear them with a long skirt that could cover the ankles. And if you want to wear them as pants, I saw a hack to wear them with the mix match socks and color them the same to make them not look tight. As you know I recommend the December's Dream Set, and the Princess Starfiosk skates only with a skirt that can cover the tights. For the opposites a track boots would basically be the same as for the Moan Sherry Shoes lol. To got the cutie boots only in the leggings toggle and with a free winter accessory named leg warmers. Or else, it'll look too tight and or or would show too much skin. The snuggly boot would be similar to the cookie loafers, since you could wear them the short version or the long one but with a long skirt since unlike the loafers, there is not a toggle to make them look not tight, unless you wear the leg warmers, and with the pop star boots you have to cover or also wear the warmers and the pant toggle, or else they'll look too tight. Here is the Moan Sherry skirt, and I would recommend in general the Moan Sherry set. Due to being a modest set, plus, 
The skirt also has a longer toggle if you want to make a more princess-like outfit. Here are some other of the sex accessories. And as you can see the sleeves and bodice cover up a lot, and look very formal. So if you are going for a princess-like outfit 100% recommend it. Or to make uniforms, an elegant work outfit and etc. Also for a princess-like look, I recommend all the goth Lolita accessories. But the sleeves only if you already have your arms covered up, or else the sleeves won't cover much. Obviously all crowns lol. And the cherry blossom set. Not to use as a kimono but to combine some pieces with other accessories and their outfits, to give some final touches, since it is also a relatively modest set. Here, some expensive and cheap outfits that I made. Thanks for watching.